fucking idea. Let's take the world's largest production motorcycle, the Triumph, the infamous Triumph Rocket 3, 2,300 cc monster. Over 800 pounds of solid steel. Let's take this beast and bring it to Carpenter Racing in New Jersey. Triumph's unofficial skunk works department that builds the racing motors, drag racing motors and street racing motors for Hayabusa and Triumph rocket owners worldwide. Let's, let's send it to Carpenter and have him put his 245 horsepower, rear wheel horsepower, dyno proven package on it. Well, that's what one of my Viking brothers, uh, Nathan Samuel, actually did with this bike. And uh, he's, he's had it for a few years. And why is he letting it go? Well, he, this was the world's largest production motorcycle. Triumph just came out with a 2,500 cc. If 23, if too much is, is good, then even more should be better, right? So he bought the 2,500 cc TFC factory custom bike, which is a $27,000 motorcycle stock. And he's putting the $6,000, 240 horse pack, pack and he's gonna have 35 grand in that bike when he's done. So his, his, him and his wife decided they would let this one go. It's been here at the shop for a couple of weeks. We've gone right through it. In fact, Christy and I took this thing out on a, on a couple of test rides because my name's on it now if I sell it, and I wanted to make sure the bike was good, and it is more than good, and we even made some improvements. It went through the detail shop. It was given a full detail. Um, it has a top of the line. In fact, Christy and I ordered the same exact stereo system, the four speaker. Check out the speakers, man. Zoom in on this. The, you need a loud stereo for a bike that's this loud. This stereo kicks ass. It is a JVC head unit, has uh, USB, it's got Bluetooth, it's got the uh, uh, port to plug in. Windshield has a matching paint job. This is custom painted. They're 2200 for this setup without the paint job. It's another 600 bucks for the paint job. And pinstripe, it's about a $2,800 fairing. I have the same exact, I, I have the same exact bike. I have a 2011 Rocket 3 and I was really excited when Nathan bought his down because I'm going to do the same thing to mine. I want to send mine and get the, uh, the uh, I already did the stage one on it. The, the, the kit, the Carpenter Racing Kit, you got to zoom in right here if you can take a look real close. A CNC machine. Only a shop that's proud of the work does that, right? <laughs> CarpenterRacing.com. The head has been ported. It's got special valves, valve springs. It's got high compression pistons. It's, it's completely uh, modified top end. I have, it has a special cam chain adjuster. Um, they, they go through the gears and they do some special stuff to the transmission so it can, and, and it has a, has a, a, a clutch. Um, mod on it uh so from carpenter it has a three into one exhaust on it it's a carpenter racing exhaust there's no baffle in it now you can put a baffle in it if you want to quiet it down but it breathes really awesome now the coolest part about this bike is you pull up to the hayabusa boys at the street light and they have no fucking clue that you've got a nine second quarter mile rocket ship right here other than the fact that it says rocket touring those in the know if they see that label the carpenter racing and that exhaust Google it. There's car, put in Carpenter Racing Triumph on YouTube, and you'll see this same exact engine package doing an 8.99 second quarter mile. You'll also see some roll-on drag races between a Hayabusa, a modified Hayabusa, and a modified uh, uh, Ducati Diavel. Where this, I don't know if I pronounced that right, where this bike from 50 to 80, or excuse me, from 50 to 110 miles an hour, and then from 90 to 155 miles an hour blows the doors off of the, the Hayabusa. And the coolest part about it is you can put your wife on the back. I took Christy out on this thing a few times. It's got comfortable floorboards. It's a touring bike, super comfortable all day saddle. It's got a backrest. It's got a spot to put a big leather backpack if you want to take off for the weekend. It's got highway pegs. It's got floorboards. This is an all day cruising bike, but it's got 234 rear wheel horsepower in, in a ridiculous amount of torque. It's, it's obscenely fast, but it has two personalities. It has one, which is your mild from uh, right off idle at about 700 to 1000 RPM to maybe 3000 RPM. It operates just like the, the stock one does with a little more, little more authority, a little more torque, maybe 25% more. But when you open this thing up from 3000 to 7000 RPM, hold the hell on. It is an absolute rocket ship. You'll never outgrow this bike. You'll never get bored of this bike. You'll never need more horsepower. It's as, about as, as fast as a bike as you'd want for the street. Now, the good news is Triumph put their top of the line dual piston calipers on the front of this thing. So it's got twin massive floating front brakes, cast aluminum alloys. I took the bike up to 115 on the highway and it was like doing 55 on a normal motorcycle. It just just glides down the highway. It's got a nice set of Metzler marathons on the front and rear matching, uh, disc brake in the rear. 
has the, the saddlebags on the bike are lockable. Nice um, touring saddlebags. Um, has the crash bar on the side. And as I said, your wife's going to be super comfortable on it. Even has a pouch right here to put a, a cell phone or a lock. Um, just a kick-ass machine. If you have any questions about this bike, give us a call at 860-454-7024. Uh, we put this on the dyno, and we also uh, did mapped the uh, fuel injection on it. It was running a little bit lean in the mid-range, so we mapped it perfectly. It's it's mapped beautifully from 1,000 to 7,000 RPM. Just absolutely fantastic. It runs. It'll never get any better than it is right now. The only issue with the bike I could see is it's, it was missing a rear turn signal lens. So we have that on order. It'll have a brand new turn signal lens installed in here when you come to pick it up. Uh, going over the cosmetics of the bike, I think there's a couple scratches somewhere on it. Um, right here on the on the side, I want to point this out, full disclosure. There's a scratch right here on the uh, crash bar, a tiny scratch and a tiny scratch right here and a tiny scratch back here. Um, the side cover's in nice shape. There's no, no damage or dings on the gas tank. The gas tank's beautiful. Uh, the front fender's in beautiful condition. No damage on the fairing. Uh, the Triumph mirrors, optional mirrors are in beautiful shape. The mirrors and the grips have been upgraded. Just a beautiful piece. As, as I mentioned before, it does have the highway peg set up on it, which is real nice. And it's got the uh, it's got the highway pegs and the crash bars. And uh, what else? Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Check this out. It's got a, a really bright LED light on the back here that um, with a toggle switch on the side. If you want to, if someone's tail uh, tailing you or you want to uh, be more obvious in traffic, flick that light on. All the other electronics on the bike work great. It's a fantastic machine. Again, this is not my bike. This is Nathan Samuels. We're selling it for him. I added it up. There's uh, just under $30,000 tied up in this bike. The original purchase price out the door was, was 16 and change. The carpenter kit was over 6,000. Um, he's put the progressive suspension kit in the front. That's the other thing too. Not only was the motor upgraded, but the tires are upgraded to the Metzler Marathons in the front fork has a full progressive suspension kit on that. And it's also got a gorgeous set of progressive shocks on the nitrogen. Check out zoom in on the gas shocks on the back there. The suspension has been fully upgraded front and rear, which you really want to do. If you're going to add more power to the unit, you're going to want better shocks. These are the, I'm sorry, the, the front is progressive. The rear are Hagon nitros, which are nitrogen charged. Beautiful shocks, much better than the stock ones. Um, again, total sleeper. Until you open it up, nobody has a clue. They think it's a standard 116 rear wheel horsepower bike. It's got double that. Uh, another upgrade that Nathan did is check out the pull pullback risers on here. The Triumph bars are a little bit farther forward than most people like. This is a beautiful set of billet pullback risers, which puts the bars right where you want them. Super comfortable, all day rider. Bulletproof proven carpenter racing engine upgrade on a timeless design. They don't make this anymore, guys. The backrest is is, is completely removable. It is uh, locked on, but it's a quick detach backrest if you want to strip it off a little bit. The fairing, if you don't want the fairing on here, guys, this isn't like isn't like buying a Harley where it's a big deal to remove the fairing because all your gauges are in it. This fairing comes off with four little Allen bolts. It's a quick detach fairing. You can take this fairing off in two minutes and put it back on in two minutes and it's quick detach connections for the stereo system. So um, it also has the, uh, oh, one other thing, I forgot about this. Look at the LED headlight on here. This is an upgraded top of the line daylighter headlight. It's a really expensive upgrade, but it's worth it at night. You can see at night it's like daytime with the thing. Oh, and the horn was also upgraded. It's an upgraded horn, upgraded horn, upgraded front suspension, upgraded tires, upgraded headlights top of the line fairing and stereo painted to match the bike highway pegs backup light Hagon nitro shocks in a full carpenter racing engine pack owned by a mature motorcyclist who um bait you know baby this thing took good care of it he took it up to uh, nova scotia with his wife on a trip um has had no issues with it mechanically uh neither did christy and i we drove it a couple nights took it out for a ride wanted to make sure it was good definitely kaplan america approved if you have any questions call us 860-454 7024. Thanks for watching and always God bless America and long live the Queen of England. England's turning out some badass triumphs like this. This is a this is a landmark motorcycle, guys. 2,300 cc's, 234 rear wheel, not pie in the sky, dyno proven horsepower. I have the chart to show you. Thanks and God bless America.
Guys, I want to point out a couple things. One, I've got Nathan's clean title right here. No issues with that. Um, here's the Carpenter Racing Dyno Report. 233.82 rear wheel horsepower, which is absolutely insane amount of power. 180 foot pound of rear wheel torque. Let me put that in perspective. My turbocharged 110 cubic inch Harley Davidson Dyno, which has a $5,000 motor build in a, a $6,000 turbo, is got about 80 horsepower or less, okay? This thing's in a class of its own. This is, I don't have the first receipt. This, he did his, his bike was done in stages. Stage one was the 180 horsepower kit. That was like, I think that was like 3,000. And then I've got the 240 horsepower pack, uh, was $5,640 with the clutch upgrade. Um, everything done right here, carpenterracing.com with the clutch upgrade and the 240 horsepower engine build. Go on to Carpenter's website if you wanna check it out. They've got full information on exactly what they do. Again, it's carpenterracing.com. Go on to YouTube to, to uh, punch in Carpenter Racing, Triumph Rocket, you'll see the dyno runs, you'll see the drag strip runs. Uh, that is a, a nine second quarter mile sleeper that uh, you can, hey, it, it's something you can take the wife out to dinner on with your Harley buddies and leave your Hayabusa buddies in the dust when you go out to raise hell on the weekend. Or if you wanna make some money, going down to your local street racing scene, do some uh, uh, black bracket racing on that, or just do some straight up street racing, street, street light to street light. If you lose, look in the mirror. It's not the bike's fault. That's one of the fastest bikes on the street, hands down. Trust me, the thing's a freaking rocket.